Good morning everyone, it's a very bright, sunny, cold, frosty winter's morning. I'm going to be vlogging today and it's actually a family day, I don't normally vlog on the weekends but I am. We have a very exciting morning, we're going to meet um, the big man himself, Santa. Feels a little bit premature but the place we're going there's always like a mega queue for um, this like special Christmas train so we thought we'd just get it in early. It's very early, I'm not really in the festive spirit yet but it's a massive garden centre and there's so many Christmas decorations, it's like crazy and then there's this like santa train and you get to meet santa so hopefully if we get there as soon as it opens and we queue we might be able to get on because we didn't pre-book anyway boring this video is actually sponsored by kasdan and i'm really excited to show you later some christmas gifts they've sent gray if you're a joseph joseph fan you're gonna absolutely love it so i'll talk to you about that later in the video Somewhere else I'm thinking of you, babe And all your crazy ways I miss you more right now It must be these holidays You know you're my everything The only... That was so cute we got the most hilarious photo of Rudy crying his eyes out at Santa and Grey literally trying to hide for her life because she didn't want to go anywhere near him but it was very sweet. My kids just don't like character dressy up things, there you go. We sat down, we bought pet lunch with, what have we got? <gasps> Alphabet pasta with pesto and peas. We're going to give them some lunch whilst we're here on a little picnic bench. We're heading into the Christmas wonderland to the tree. First ones this year, and the first new ones. In here. In here, yeah. I'm gonna get some soft ones so that Rudy can't break them. These ones look fun. I like the popcorn one. Oh, there's a sparkly unicorn one. Well, that one's a nice sparkly unicorn one. This place is insane. I mean, at giant candy, um, candy cane? Giant tinsel candy cane, and all want that? I've snuck off while Rich is queuing to see if I can find anything for Grey's advent calendar because I need like little things to go in there. I am such a tube girl, I always forget that the trains like don't come that regularly. We just missed the train and now we've got to wait half an hour. <laughs> So Rudy's fallen asleep in his buggy, which wasn't really meant to be the plan, but it's okay. Grace having a great time, finishing feeding her pasta. And then we're gonna head home. She picked out a little toy at the end of the Santa train. It's the next day and I had to cut filming short yesterday. We had a really lovely morning, but Grey was totally overstimulated and overtired. And just a reality check, we had some mega tantrums that we had to try to deal with. I would say we're pretty patient parents and supportive, but it's a challenge. Anyway, we ended up going back home and chilling out. I didn't want to add more to her plate. We had a really lovely chilled afternoon. So I thought I would continue the vlog today. Everyone's in a really good mood today. We've woken up having a really chilled morning at home, which is so nice. I just sometimes feel like we're too busy. Sometimes we just like do so much. So it's really nice to just have a really slow morning. I think the plan today actually is to go through some of our Christmas decorations and just like assess what we've got because we're gonna put up the tree soon. But I'm really excited now to show you the brand that I'm working with for this video. Kasdan Toys have have collaborated with Joseph Joseph. You guys, I'm sure will know Joseph Joseph. It's a brand I love. We've got their salt and pepper shakers, their utensils. We've got so many things like in our kitchen from the brand Joseph Joseph. And if you're buying for kids this Christmas, I think you're gonna be really interested in this. So they've created six different kitchen friendly toys. And I say toys loosely because 
these can actually be used as well as played with. Grey absolutely loves role play. She is constantly pretending she's a nursery teacher or she's a chef or she's a mummy or whatever. She's constantly role playing. She's going to love these. I'm going to take them downstairs in a minute to show her. Okay, first of all, the one you guys are all going to recognise. You know the Joseph Joseph like utensil is called Elevate. It's a utensil set. This is the mini kids version. So it's like exactly the same thing but mini. She's going to love this. We can put this in her toy kitchen but as I said, she can also use use it as well and we've got those kitchen towers and she loves standing there and helping me bake and helping me cook there's also the nest we love this we love the like adult version it's got mixing bowls colanders measuring cups so good so when we're actually baking together she can use these and do it with me this one is really cute the chop to pot so it's a little chopping board exactly the same as the joseph's joseph one and then it's got the veg and a knife so they can like pretend to cut them up and cook alongside me this one again a really handy one the bake set it's got mixing bowl it's got measuring cups it's got um a whisk and a rolling pin she would absolutely love this we bake a lot together she bakes a lot with my mum as well she made like christmas biscuits this week so that will come in very handy this one she's gonna absolutely love it's the go eat chopping board uh it's got basically like you can make your own sandwich and then put it in your little um lunch box she's gonna love that like because we're always like making her a little packed lunch so she can pretend to do it herself and this is the showstopper the extend washing up bowl and draining rack set i just know she's gonna absolutely die over this it's a washing up bowl drying rack you can actually put water and soap in it and wash up the dishes which change color when you wash them up this is the one i'm going to take downstairs to play with her she's gonna absolutely love it prices are really good a lot of these smaller ones are 10 pounds each and then this bigger washing up kit is 25 pounds okay gray has been very patient waiting for me to come up here and film this so i'm going to take this downstairs and show her i'm just trying to decide which ones to take down to show her i think we're going to do the extend the washing up kit i think she's gonna absolutely love the go eat like lunchbox one let's go downstairs and have a look okay while gray gets on with making herself a packed lunch i'll show you the other things what's in your sandwich gray Ham. Um, cheese. do you want to cut your tomato on the chopping board careful oh very good well done good cutting so now you have to just build your sandwich look they go in like this it goes clip and then the cheese clip oh my gosh guys so look this is our this is our version of the utensils look at the kids version that is too cute i literally can't handle it it's exactly the same it's just a mini version and then look these are our nesting bowls and measuring cups and this is the kids one <laughs> it is ridiculous i have a friend my friend Gemma is obsessed with mini versions of things she is going to absolutely flip at this she would love these i need to tell her she could get them for her kids for christmas and you look at these little measuring cups and a little a little sieve so so cute wow well, gray you're doing very well over here making your packed lunch okay gray you are gonna love this one so much this is so clever i've just filled this up with water and i put in a little bit of fairy liquid I'm going to pop that sink on. I am genuinely excited to see how this works. I'm going to put that there. So it's got a soap dispenser. It's got a little washing up brush. And then here are all the plates and the cutlery and the cups. So she can wash them up in the water and then put them on the drying rack. Press the pump. Wash up the plates. You can use a little scrubby thing. Very good washing up. And I think if we make the water warmer, the plates will go... Oh, look, look what's happening to the plates. Wow. My parenting hack would be to get one of these. Ours is actually a bit of a hack. This is just a step. And then this bit, Rich's dad, is just, it's just wood that he just built on top. And these steps are like super affordable. But look, they can just stand there and play and they don't want to be picked up the whole time. Sorry, one more clip for my friend Gemma. I just took this, this out to our chopping board to make their lunch. <laughs> Look, Ray's chopping board. My chopping board. So sweet. I want to help you. You want to help make lunch? Yeah. Okay. You want red risotto. We so almost have a walker. Yay! And go. Yay! 
fresh. Rich is going to the gym during Rudy's nap time, so I've just escaped upstairs to have a little bit of me time and to go through our Christmas decorations, just so we can assess what we've got. We've got these very cute little stockings, actually, that were made for me by a really sweet little small brand. Obviously, I can't remember the name right now, but I will put it down below in the description box. I have no idea where this wreath came from, but we could put that on the front door. These are nice. We put these downstairs on our door as well. Rich's Christmas jumper, which he gets out every year. Oh, it smells so stale. Ooh, Christmas books. Yes, I'm excited about these because Grey, um, as I showed you guys, I think in last week's video, we've got that DIY advent calendar. And in a few of the doors, I'm going to put a little note. So she'll open the advent calendar and it will say, let's play hide and seek to find a Christmas book. Or like something like that. It'll be a clue. Find your present where we make dinner or something and it'll be in the oven. Um, we've got Peppa's Night Before Christmas. This is all from last year. The Christmas present hunt, Peter Rabbit. Pepper meets Father Christmas. So I can use those for her advent calendar. These are our decorations. Tree topper, we can use that again this year. These more delicate decorations. I think we're gonna have to give those a miss this year. Yeah, these are all glass, so we're not gonna have those this year. We have got some which are like tin. Like, these are all tin, so they're fine, they won't break. Those are all fine. These little stars, they're, oop, they're heavy, but they're not, they're not glass. I don't think they'll break, so we can keep those. These are brilliant. Got these from Arquette last year, and I think they do more this year. They're paper decorations. Those are perfect for kid and pet friendly tree decorations. Got some nice like cute little felt ones. Pretty sure these that I've got like a soft star. These are all gonna be okay. But that's all we've got. If I add in these as well. Our tree is quite big. So I think we're gonna have to get some more. I think I'm gonna get more like this like the little felt ones. I think they're really cute. Like our tree has definitely evolved over the years. I feel like you go through stages of having a very grown up tree where everything looks really posh. And now we're in our like young kid phase of life. And I think that's cool. And it's nice to make it like fun for them. Those are the decorations. What's in this box? Oh, we've got, we've got this, which we normally put across the fireplace, but I'm not hundred percent sure I love it. Here are the lights. Also, I was looking into getting like bigger lights this year. I feel like they'll look nice and that'll kind of bulk up the tree. These are where all our really delicate tree baubles are. I definitely will not be able to use these this year. They're really, really pretty. Save those for a future Christmas. Also got these massive ones. I wonder if we could put these high up and just hope that he doesn't break them because they're really nice. I think we're gonna have to just like wait and see. I just don't want to have to like keep telling him to not touch the tree. Right, I think I've got a good overview now of what we need. I think some nice um, new decorations around the fireplace would be nice. Okay, we just have to measure enough string to make it, I think, about that much. And then, which can way I, around are we going? Can I, you cut some for me to be the lead? I want to um, um, put this on the to the doggy. We had these a couple of years ago. They're white lights that hang down like this. And I thought that would look really cool in our shutters. I just can't remember how I hung them up, but I'm gonna try and do that now. Sorry, out of focus. Right, we're heading to a supermarket because tonight is our annual canapé night. Me and Rich always when the, it's either the I'm a celebrity get me out of here cyclone night or the finale where we get Christmas canapes, we drink Prosecco, and I think a couple of years ago we dressed up, but tonight we're not gonna dress up for it. And we just always think that Christmas canapes are the best, and it's always a shame that we only eat them like on Christmas day. So we wanna get all the Christmas canapes in that we can. So we're gonna go, haven't decided which supermarket we're gonna try. We'll see where we end up. We're going for the belly pork squares, the tiger forms, reindeer steamed buns. This is very exciting. Oh my gosh, I bought this in the supermarket and it's delicious. Oh my gosh, and it's so good for you. Sauerkraut is so good for you. Mm. I've tried the pickles from this brand before. Everything they do is so good. Kids are asleep. 
we are in full on show mode with Grey. She's at that age where every night she does a show for us. It's cute, but it's, it's, it's exhausting, isn't it, yeah. to watch? I don't know how she does it, I'm so tired she, watching her. She uses every ounce of her energy and does a Frozen show for us, so. Yeah. The kids are asleep and the canapes are almost cooked. I'm so excited. I feel like this looks like a really indulgent night. But yeah. it's just our thing. Once a year, we just get some Christmas canapes and eat them. And my sister was like, that is so many canapes for one person. Because each one comes with quite a lot. Like, and you want a variation. And they'll probably come over in a minute anyway and eat them. Um, I just feel like it's sad to only eat them on Christmas Day. So this is the night where we eat them. What are you most excited for? We've got, okay, we've got... Mm. Cold, These look good, actually. We've got little beef Yorkshire puddings, like mini beef Yorkshire puddings. We've got breaded prawns. And we've got little belly pork squares. Oh, actually the bow buns. And I'm excited for these, they're, they're currently in the microwave. The reindeer steamed buns. Okay, before we sign off for the evening and just enjoy our canopy evening, cheers. Cheers, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Let's do a quick taste test. I'm going in with the breaded prawn, a classic. Can't really go wrong. Crunchy. Mm. What are you gonna try? Pork. Pork belly squares. That good. Mm. Mm. Little baby Yorkshire puddings. I just love canapes. Yeah. Was it vegetable and hoisin sauce? These are the reindeer bow buns. Yeah, they're so veggie. good. Mmm. Mmm. Nice. Mm. Which one's your favourite? I haven't had the pork. Mmm. Mmm, good. I think it was. Oh my god, I would like to get these for lunch. Anyway, we're gonna watch I'm a Celeb sit in front of the toasty fire. Yeah, that's all. I'm gonna link everything down below in the description box that I've talked about in this video, including the Kasdan toys, which, by the way, they played with for hours, both of them, Rudy yeah, as well. The they, were up they, there their, them, yeah. they were up there in their tower for so long. Good gifts. So Yeah, and then later you were like, those are really good gifts. We should get them for friends. They're yeah. really good gifts. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you um, in my next video. Oh wait, I had something to say in this video. Now I've left it right to the end, which means that only real, true people who watch it right to the end are gonna know this. I'm doing Vlogmas on TikTok this year. Sorry it's not on YouTube. I haven't managed to do Vlogmas on YouTube since before I had kids and I never will again be able to, but I'm doing it on TikTok. So it's something and I think it'll be fun. It'll be a challenge. So follow me on TikTok if you wanna see that. Bye.